motorcycle gangs, crime, lots of good plot and story. This one's going to be fantastic. Hey guys, welcome to Rewind, Relive and Review. I'm Rick, the show where we talk about movies, TV shows, and music. Today I've got a great TV show for you. This one is Sons of Anarchy. I love this show. A lot of people are in that same camp with me. And then there's people that have slept on this show, didn't know what it was about, so they didn't even give it a chance. Let me tell you, you've got to give this show a chance. It's great. This is great TV. Let's take a look. All right, all right, let's talk about Sons of Anarchy. This is an American action crime drama television series. It was created by Kurt Sutter and it aired from 2008 to 2014. This show follows the lives of a close-knit outlaw motorcycle club operating in the fictional town of Charming, California in California's Central Valley. The show stars Charlie Hunnam as Jackson Jax Teller who is initially the vice president and subsequently the president of the club. After discovering a manifesto written by his late father, John, who previously led the MC, he soon begins to question the club himself and his relationships. Love, brotherhood, loyalty, betrayal, and redemption are consistent themes throughout this show. This series explores vigilantism, government corruption, and racism and depicted an outlaw motorcycle club as an analogy for human transformation. David Labrava, a real-life member of the Oakland chapter of Hell's Angels, served as a technical advisor and also played the recurring character of Happy Loman, the club's assassin. Each season involved parallel plot lines that intertwine and overlap centering on both the personal and family life of Jackson Teller and Sam Crow, which stands for Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle Club Redwood Original. Sam Crow is involved with gun running in the Western United States and deals with rival gangs, politicians, and authorities. Jackson struggles to manage the club and the legacy of its founder, his late father, John Teller. He is frequently at odds with his stepfather, Clay Morrow, who has taken over the club since John's death and is now married to Jackson's mom, and John's widow, Gemma Teller. Jax also grapples with his relationships with his high school sweetheart, Tara Knowles, and his best friend, Opie Winston. The show ran for seven seasons from 2008 through 2014. Again, it stars Charlie Hunnam as Jax Teller, Katie Segal as Gemma Teller Morrow, Mark Boone Jr. as Bobby Munson, Kim Coates as Tig Traeger, Tommy Flanagan as Chibs Telford, Maggie Siff as Tara Knowles, Ron Perlman as Clay Morrow, Ryan Hurst as Opie Winston, Theo Rossi as Juan Carlos, Juice Ortiz, Dayton Cali as Wayne Unser, and Jimmy Smits as Nero Padilla. Sam Crow attempts to control and protect Charming through close community relationships, bribery, and violent intimidation. They are vehement about keeping hard drugs and drug dealers out of Charming. They also attempt to keep the peace between the various racially divided gangs located in nearby cities. High school friends John Teller and Piermont Piney Winston co-founded Sam Crow in 1967 upon returning from the Vietnam War. After the birth of John's son with his wife Gemma, they settle in their hometown of Charming. Six of the Redwood Original Nine, or First Nine are, as they're called, were Vietnam veterans, with only Lenny Janowitz, the club's third member and original sergeant at arms, alive at the end of the series. The other First Nine included Chico Villanueva, Otto Morin, Wally Grazer, Thomas Whitney, Clay Morrow, and Keith McGee. Club members wear denim or leather vests, which are known as cuts with a three-piece patch on the back that includes the club's name, logo, and territorial location. The Sons of Anarchy logo is a traditional Grim Reaper holding a crystal ball with the anarchist circle A symbol and wielding the Reaper's traditional scythe 
the handle of which has been replaced by an M16 rifle. Only full members can wear the full patch, and many of them have also tattooed it on their backs or aspects of their arms. Other smaller patches, called flashes, have specific meanings, such as Men of Mayhem, which is worn by club members who have spilled blood on the club's behalf, First Nine, worn by the original nine members, and rank flashes for the club officers. Whenever conducting club business, the members always wear their cuts. One notable exception to this, during the course of the season four, when a number of Sam Pro members are on parole and must cover their cuts in public to avoid identifying as members. Female characters such as Tara, Ima, and Lila are seen wearing t-shirts that sport the same Sons of Anarchy or Sam Crow logos, but nobody outside the club wears cuts or is seen wearing clothing with the symbol or Reaper image. Sam Crow rides customized Harley Davidson Dyna motorcycles. Each rider customizes his own bike to his individual style, however, they all paint their bikes black and most sport T-bar style handlebars. A member's bike usually sports graphics such as the Sons of Anarchy letters, the club's Grim Reaper logo, or circled A logo. During the final season, Jax refurbishes and rides his father's 1946 Harley Davidson customized EL knucklehead. Sons of Anarchy has commonly been called Hamlet on Harleys because of its Shakespearean influence. It is very similar to Hamlet in the fact that Jax's father was usurped by the father's quote-unquote brother, who then married Jax's mother. There were also intermittent hints at the Oedipal complex between Jax and Gemma, reflecting 20th century interpretations of Jax's relationship between Hamlet and his mother, Queen Gertrude. Jax's murder of the innocent jury in season seven mirrors Hamlet's murder of the innocent Polonius in that it ultimately leads to his downfall. Sutter has said of the Shakespearean element, quote unquote, I don't want to overplay that, but it's there. It was Jax's father who started the club, so he's the ghost in the action. You wonder what he would have made of the way it turned out. It's not a version of Hamlet, but definitely influenced by it. All seven seasons of Sons of Anarchy have been released on DVD, and there is currently a complete season box set as well. All of these include bonus features and extra content. So scoring this for packaging and content, I would give it a three. Picture, I would give it a three as well good DVD picture sound I would give it a 3.25 I love the soundtracks on here and the spatial separation so the overall score of Sons of Anarchy would be 3.08 well worth that go ahead and buy it aspect that I like to uh, use when making determinations All right, guys, that's Sons of Anarchy. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me, do you like this show? What's your favorite character in this show? And tell me what you want to hear or see in the future. Please comment below, like this video, let's destroy that YouTube algorithm. And as always, stay positive, stay blessed. I'll see you again soon.